Heavy storm damage in early July caused the dome of a west side tennis club to completely collapse. And now that structure is being repurposed into a new line of items. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan explains how they're doing this. We're making the remaking the future piece by piece. Well, we'll do 10 bags in a batch row by row. We take what people think is unusable. Make it into fashion. We uh, have stencils specifically for every bag. This is People for Urban Progress. Two years ago, they began turning discarded Amtrak seating into bags. We get it like this, and then we go through uh, a cleaning process. Hoosier Dome roofing, Indy 500 signage, even a banner is useful. When the Super Bowl was here, um, we started incorporating. Now, PUP Executive Director Teray Dabney has her eyes on the West Indy Racquet Club. When we got word that this was just around the corner, we jumped in the car and said, yeah, let's go take a look at it. A storm came through July 11th. It collapsed our bubble beyond repair. Severing a gas line in the process. Emergency crews fearing it leaked into the inflated dome. Luckily, it didn't. An IMPD officer approached me and he said, I want you to know that this is a really big deal. And then sure enough, nine fire trucks came on site. Shannon White is the general manager and COO of the club. I personally am not an expert tennis player, but I can carry a mean purse. The club hired the Michelis company to tear the dome down. Some projects, uh, they just unfold, uh, pardon the pun. Uh, right in front of your eyes. James Porter and his team will transfer the dome to PUP. What we're going to do is cut and fold in preparation, predetermined sizes. All 40,000 square feet of it. You can load it onto dump trucks. Some will become racket covers for club members, while other parts. Future pieces of nostalgia. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Pretty cool. People for Urban Progress will be turning this new dome into a new product line. Many of their projects help fund philanthropic causes. As for the Racket Club, they're going to be getting a new dome with a skylight pretty soon.